Star Wars is one of the best known sagas in the entire history of cinema. It's a fan favorite of every generation, and a brand new trilogy aims to bring even more fans into the fold. But you'd be surprised to know just how many more scenes director George Lucas originally meant to include in his space epic. Scenes that could have turned out to be completely unforgettable if they hadn't wound up on the cutting room floor. Here are Screen Rant's 10 Star Wars movie scenes you've never seen. Greedo Never Learns No Star Wars prequel takes more heat than The Phantom Menace, but fans missed out on one original trilogy cameo that was guaranteed to cause some controversy. After Anakin wins the pod race, Qui-Gon finds the boy fighting with a young Rodian who claims he cheated. When the kids are split up, the final reveal comes. It's no random Rodian, but a young Greedo. The same bounty hunter who would learn the hard way that Han always shoots first. Depending on who you ask. A proud smuggler. The assault on the shield generator station in Return of the Jedi always seemed a bit rushed, and with good reason. The original version had Han and his team taking out a squad of stormtroopers before being ambushed and captured. But the real shame is that audiences never got to hear what could have been another classic Han Solo one-liner. When cornered and accused of being rebel scum, the Corellian smuggler takes genuine offense to the term, as only he can. <laughs> Toshi Station No diehard Star Wars fan will ever forget the first time Luke mentioned he'd be making a trip to Toshi Station for some all-important power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. But the location was originally going to be shown when Luke rushed to tell his friends about the space battle visible over Tatooine. The scene also introduced Luke's best friend Biggs Darklighter long before the two were reunited before the attack on the Death Star. At the time, Biggs was still training to be an Imperial pilot before defecting to the Rebellion. Wampa Troubles Freezing cold isn't the only danger on Hoth, and The Empire Strikes Back opens with Luke finding out how much damage a wild Wampa can really do. But the massive creatures were originally going to be shown as a headache for the entire Rebel base, with the troops managing to trap them in a single room in Echo Base. When the Empire breaks in and the heroes flee, C-3PO has the bright idea to remove the warning sign, leading one trooper to a bloody end. Apparently, the droid doing something clever, funny, and helpful for once was thought to be too out of character, and the scene was cut. A typical God. Seeds of the Rebellion It's not hard to guess why yet another political subplot was cut out of Revenge of the Sith, but we would bet most fans would have liked to see Padme and Bail Organa start to form the future Rebel Alliance in the Senate's back rooms especially working with a young Mon Mothma years before she would lead the Resistance and brief Luke Skywalker on the Death Star's weakness. Considering how many extra subplots didn't get cut, this one seems like a missed opportunity, and a clever way of linking the prequels and the original trilogy. That's what's out of place here. Endor's Fate If you've ever wondered why the second Death Star didn't just blow up Endor's forest moon and take out Han Solo and Leia once and for all, a deleted scene has the answer. The Emperor actually gave that exact order demanding the battle station destroy the moon if its shields were ever sabotaged. But we have several battalions stationed on the moon. It's hard to know why the scene was taken out. It would have added a ticking clock to the entire Ewok battle, and the commander's mixed feelings over killing his own troops along with the enemy showed that not every Imperial officer was completely evil. Luke's new lightsaber. We know what you're thinking. There's no way that a scene showing Luke as a full-fledged Jedi Knight building his own lightsaber could be cut out of Return of the Jedi, right? Wrong. Before he sent his droids into Jabba's palace, Luke's new look was originally going to be revealed as he put the finishing touches on his green lightsaber. The scene makes his plan to smuggle the weapon through security a bit clearer, but his second reveal to Jabba the Hutt was deemed to be a better one. We'll let the fans decide that one. C-3PO saves the day It's no secret George Lucas strayed into creepy territory with the implied love between Luke and Leia, but eventually played their kiss in The Empire Strikes Back as a joke when the characters were revealed to be brother and sister. But a deleted scene took things much, much farther. Not only is the scene a more romantic one, it shows that both siblings were genuinely attracted to each other, and on the verge of a passionate kiss before C-3PO interrupts. Some claim the scene is proof Lucas still hadn't decided the two are twins when the movie was filmed, and frankly, that's the only explanation for the scene that doesn't make our skin crawl. You only die twice. General Grievous may have gotten more laughs than screams, but the Jedi Killer's original introduction in Episode 3 showed he was no joke, executing a Jedi named Shaq T with her own lightsaber. The light-hearted hand signals between Obi-Wan and Anakin that followed her death showed the scene was a bit too awkward to work, but Lucas was determined to kill the Jedi on screen. So determined, he also filmed her death at the hands of Anakin when he first turned to the dark side, which also wound up on the cutting room floor. Guess who's coming to dinner? 
The budding romance between Anakin Skywalker and Padme in Attack of the Clones wasn't a hit with every fan, but George Lucas originally planned to spend even more time on their courtship. Deleted scenes take the pair to visit Padme's parents and older sister, who can't help but notice the young Jedi's affection. Did you know, Anakin, you're the first boyfriend my sister's ever brought home? It's hard to say this dating drama is really a fit for the series at all. The director probably decided that introducing characters who would never know what happened to their grandchildren would raise more questions than answers. We want to know what you think of our list. Let us know if we missed any of your favorite deleted scenes or abandoned subplots in the Star Wars series in our comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to Screen Rant for more videos like this one. And may the force be with you.